So, all right, <clears throat> Chris Green, what are we doing today? All right, so this is just a interesting idea. I'm a big fan of top tens, uh, and I thought it would be interesting to list off top ten cards that we don't want in Duel Links. <laughs> cards that I have on my list are uh, cards that I think could potentially end up in Duel Links. Probably is like URs uh, in like a future box that if I see it, I'm gonna flip because I I don't think I don't think it'll be good. Um, you know, with free to play free to play players like myself, you know, everybody will end up having like three copies of this card, and I think it would ruin Duel Links. Like, you know, all Duel Links YouTubers they want the game to do well so they can keep making content on it, and yeah. I'm sure I would love to see their top ten lists, but uh, I wanted to see. Uh, what list that me and you would have. Uh, so if you mention a card that I actually would love in Duel Links on your list, it'd be interesting. Uh, if we end up having dupes on each of our lists, we can talk about it. So uh, so I'm gonna start off by listing. It's in no particular order. It's just 10 cards that I don't want in Duel Links. So for my number 10, uh, I, actually, uh, <laughs> I actually have two cards on it because they're both very similar. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't they don't take up two slots. They all have their own slot, and that's Solemn Warning and Solemn Judgment. Really? Yes. Why? In, in a game where it's only 4,000 life points, yeah, I could see, like, Solemn Warning not being that big of a deal, and Solemn Judgment too. it's basically the same thing. Like, turn one, negate. Um, you know, we have cards like Chalice and Memory Crusher, which uh, do negate effects and stuff, but they don't get rid of the card you know you still have field presence you know and, and, and in a game where it's only 4,000 life points like Psalm Morning Wait. Psalm Judgment is just like too too much like said Memory Crusher yeah mem I think it's called Memory Crusher it's a trap card that negates a monster effect and puts the monster in defense position oh no Memory Crusher is that shitty card your bell gives out that's like a oh uh, it's, it's a trap <laughs> card I, I forget what okay. it's called but People know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Solemn Morning, Solemn Judgment. Like, turn one, you get Solemned. Like, say your opponent has, like, a fur hire, full board, sets one card. You do something, Solemn Judgment. It's like, well, there goes my normal summon. Or a card that gets rid of anything. So you have Solemn Judgment and a Wiz? No. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm. See, I'd say the opposite of that. Uh, your opponent starts off with their, uh, their beat. For higher, and then you solemn judgment, and then that's it. They're fucked that turn. That's true, but like I said, we have Canadia, we have Chalice, um, yeah. we have those cards that already do that. Uh, but the fact that you know, you, th I'm of the uh, thought process of, hey, I don't want to get solemn judgment, right? It's good that I have it, but I don't want it happening to me. So I don't want that. I don't want us both to have it. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean, so yeah, you can stop for hires, but then for hires can use that to stop you. Mm, As an example, know. and and you yeah. know, oh, uh, cosmic cyclone, the uh, Amazonas onslaught, oh, solemn judgment. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. You know. That would be great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay, I'll give you that one. Yeah. Uh, some warning, I don't think is as bad. I think some warning would be fine. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know, just negate, like, in the past, in the TCG, you know, just getting Solemn Warninged, you know, it's, it just doesn't feel good. And <laughs> I, I, I think this card could end up in Duel Links in the future, maybe not Judgment, but Solemn Warning could absolutely, especially with Synchros coming to the yeah. game. You know, they're always talking about it, but it hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure it's going to happen, like, next month, but, you know, yeah. it wouldn't be that bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think with synchros we'll need solemn warnings, yeah. um, but uh, we'll we'll get to that yeah. when we get to that, I guess. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, so then my first card is gonna be Neospatian Grand Mole. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I know we're gonna have to get it because you know Jaden's in the game and he's part of like three different fusions, so they have to give him us eventually. Yeah. But. That is going to be the most annoying card. I think that's pretty. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that. That I feel like it would be fair enough to put Grand Mole in Duel Links uh, because it's one of those things where you have to use your normal summon to put it on the field, and then yeah, yeah it bounces. It's back and forth. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Grand Mole would be really, really annoying. 
Yeah, like I get that they uh, limited what is it, massive morph, but yeah, grand mole with you know one copy of massive morph is pretty bad, or like uh, drowning mirror force. You can have three copies of drowning mirror force with you know a, a neo space and grand mole like that. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely see that. Like, I was gonna say, what what about this? Is like, what if? Well, first of all, if it showed up in a box, right, everybody would be getting three of them. And that would be mm-hmm. pretty crazy, but it does leave their field wide open. Yeah, you know, early game grand mole is not. I don't think it's too great, but it does ruin your deck if you rely on flip summons or field presence or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, I, I could see that uh, being a bitch. <laughs> but like, say, say like they take all the characters right and they upgrade them to level fifty, and mm-hmm. grand mole is Jaden's level fifty reward. There's like that would only, be okay. There was like only one in the game. Yeah, that would be okay. I mean, it would still be annoying, but I don't think it would... But, uh, I don't know. I think one of them is bad enough. I don't think anyone's going to be running three copies of Grand Mole. Yeah, but if it was in a box, then potentially it could run two or three. Yeah. Yeah, so that would be bad. Yeah, no, that's a good one. (laughs) I didn't think of that. Yeah. (laughs) I think maybe it was locked behind an event, because I think that's the harder ones to get. Uh, Maybe not everyone will get them, but... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you try hard enough, you can get three from an event. So yeah. we'll see. All right, so for number nine, I actually this is a card you might not know about. It's called Preparation of Rights. It's a uh, you can I've look it up, it. but uh, it's a spell card that uh, it's a ritual spell that I that isn't in the game, and it could end up being like an SR in the future. It could, but this card could potentially bring back Cyber Angels. Like, I used this card a lot in Relinquished years and years ago. It's a great, great card. It lets you add a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. And if you have a ritual spell in the graveyard, you can add that to your hand. So you can do both at the same time? Yeah, like the, the adding of the ritual monster to your from your deck to your hand is the first effect. And the second effect is if you have a ritual spell in the grave, you can add it to your hand. So it's a great card. Like I used to use it all the time with Relinquished, but like if this was in Duel Links, I'd be like, I wouldn't like that because yeah, it would just pretty much bring back Cyber Angels. I think it's like kind of one of those weird cards that like if I saw it, I'm like, oh no, it's only a matter of time before like it's used in like Gishki decks or uh, you know Cyber Angels again. I don't know. I don't think I've seen a Gishki deck that's uh, like threatening. Like, I would almost no. think that they need something like this, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, like like I said, mainly has to do with Cyber Angels. Uh-huh. Like, no one plays that deck anymore. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, it's missing cards, or it's, like, limiting too many cards. But, like, adding this to the to the uh, game could help them. Yep. So, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll give you that one. Uh... My card, my next card is uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Oh yeah, no, there's not enough. There's not enough um, spell and trap removal for that. Oh no, you know that card's coming out. Yeah, exactly. You know it's gonna happen with 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 you say as a character. Oh no. Immediately, it'll be like his level thirty or something like that. They'll give you one, but that's it. All you need I is hope one. They, I hope they only give you one. Oh man, it's gonna be Fuck. the worst. No, say say you use Hate Trunade, right? Doesn't Scrap Iron Scarecrow work in that you could still activate it to negate one attack? Or does it have to happen on attack declaration? I forget. I think it's on attack declaration. Hold on, yeah, Scrap Iron. <laughs> I forgot all about that card. Oh, shit. Hold on a minute. Uh, when it posts Monster Clan attack. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, yeah, so. But yeah, no, like I said, in the game, there's just not, a, it, it's too annoying. Yeah, like that card's too good, and it's good. <laughs> there's just no way to get rid if, of it. And... Yeah, I mean, I don't think oh, that would man. work if they put it in. Like they, you, they would have to ban it eventually. Yeah, they would have to release it and then immediately like limit it to one. Oh my something. god, would you imagine? Yeah, a box comes out and that's a UR. I'm like, oh Ugh. no, everyone's gonna run three of them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you just cannot attack. No one will ever be at attack. Everybody would be running Genzo. Yeah, it doesn't matter Genzo what deck you're playing. Ancient Gears might even come back just for that. Like, it'll be a mess. Potentially, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't even say you can only activate once per turn. Like, 
you, if you had two of them, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this will be used in Exodia decks. Oh, no. Exodia oh. decks, those stupid Lava Golem decks. Nope. nope. <laughs> that, that's a good one. Yeah, that's cancer right there. All right, so you might hate my number eight, uh, uh -huh. Insector Hornet. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, I think now, so... I, I, I love how Duel Links does like bring back certain archetypes, but they don't include most of the boss monsters or the yeah. cards that make the deck work. You know, with they put in Light Swords in the game, but no uh Judgment Dragon. Right. Uh Samurais are are pretty good in the game, but like uh Sheehan was always the, the bitch card. Because they always yep. negated a spell or trap, and it's got high stats. Um, you know, so they put in the Zectors in the game, and there's no Hornets. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, there's no, yeah, Dragonfly either. Like, that's not in there either. No, yeah. Uh, but Dragonfly mainly works with Hornets, so that's why they didn't put them both in the game. But <sighs> could they put them in the game? Like, those two in a box in the future? Possibly. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, I don't have good uh, memories. Memories of that deck, and it would just ruin. I'll end up probably even playing it if it comes out, because it's going to be too good, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a no for me. No, that's a that's a good one. I'll give you that one. It's still limited to this day. Limited to one. Is it really? Yeah. I just looked at the sure. ban list, too, like, recently, and I, yeah. I didn't I noticed Morphing Jar came back in the real TCG one, and I was, like, happy about that, but everybody's oh, so wow. happy about Stratos. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Morphin Jar. I love that guy. Yeah. Oh, well. I like Morphin Jar, too. I used to <laughs> run a Morphin Jar uh, FTK. <sighs> good days. No, good days. I, I, I love playing that card. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no. Hornet and Dragonfly would be pretty annoying, in Duel yeah. Links, at least. All right. My next one, I doubt it will ever happen, but uh, Ujama Trio. Drama Trio? Oh, oh hell no. <laughs> hell no. No, that takes up three slots, and you only get three slots. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's bullshit. Don't, doesn't it have the same thing of it can't be tributed for a tribute summon? Nope. Can't be tributed for a tribute summon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, that'll never end up in the game. No, that, yeah. that's, why, that's why Chaz has his ability where it puts one of those tokens on your field. I think he has, a, he has an ability where he can set the card, I think. But he has to have, like, uh, 500 really? life points, I think. Oh, hell no. Well, that, yeah, that's too situational, but yeah, no, any card that is in, uh, involved in an ability, I don't include in my list, but yeah, no, absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, no, you're, 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 you're done. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's it. Can't summon like, anything, can't tribute it? No. Yep. Oh, man. I'm, that was the first card whenever Duel Links came out, and I was like, oh, shit, that would fuck everything up. Yeah. But thankfully it's bad enough we have a Jama uh, King in that game. Yeah. Thankfully, that hasn't been that big of a deal. Not, least, yeah, not really. Everybody's all about, uh, with Cyberstein, they're all about Scrap, uh, no, it's Barrel Dragon or whatever, whatever that other card's called. Oh, uh, Blowback Dragon, I think it is? Yeah, uh, the, the one that, yeah, the Fusion flip three coins yeah no yeah. That's, that's cancer right there <laughs> <laughs> hell no um all right so number seven number yep. seven toronto tribute really yeah how come i think i think that's too well on summon destroy all cards on the field i feel like it would end up in dual links because it's not that op not really especially since we have cards like jinzo and wiz in the game like they'd probably still be all right with putting that in, and it blows up your field. Yep. But it just... No, I think that would help out the wrong decks. Like, And then the thing know. about it, it's, a, it's not like Dark Hole where you can just use it. It's a trap, so you have to set it. And exactly, then so... they have to summon a monster after that also. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, it blows up the whole field. And I don't know if Duel Links is ready for that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't I, know. I agree. Uh, yeah, right. especially like if they're gonna bring out uh, synchro summoning to the game, like they don't want to include cards that would stop people from doing that. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just I feel like it's, the game's not ready for that, especially if it comes in a box and it gets and people are running three of each of it. Like, like you can't do shit. Yeah, three of them would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> and like uh, they gave and it yeah, to like Mako. they. they 
Uh, like one at uh, 50. If they gave you one <laughs> Trento Tier Group for Mako at 50, that would be okay. Yeah, like I said, a lot of these cards on this list, I would be all right if they only put in one in the game, but they're going to screw it up. <laughs> they're going to put it in a box and be like, what have you done? <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, uh, oh, yeah, you would have, yeah, like, because if your opponent had, like, full board, right, and it's too late for your Eternal Tribute, you would have to summon your own card to trigger it, yeah. And then, but you're still wide open, and, like, it's just going to be too much of a headache. Your opponent could just not summon a monster, so, yeah, I, I'd rather it not be in the game, but I could see it <laughs> being in the game, so we'll see. Uh, all right. I would like that in the game. That would fuck up a lot of... Uh... <laughs> Upcoming cards, but okay, yeah. I, I can see it being an issue. Yeah. Uh, so you give. Oh, it will be. I'm sorry. Sorry, I cut you off. But it was be so OP in Wild Heart decks. Wild Heart. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> like Needle Stealing has a requirement, <laughs> yeah. right? Journal Tribute has no requirement other than just summoning a monster. So. That's true. Never mind. Needle Needle Stealing's <laughs> good, good enough, but not no, not Journal Tribute. Fuck that. Fair enough. Yeah. No. <laughs> That changes everything now that you bring that up. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, since you brought up a trap, I'll bring up a trap as well. Uh, Tornado Wall. Ooh, isn't that the card that makes it so that if you have Umi on the field, your opponent can't attack? No, they can attack. You're just taking no battle damage oh, at all. No, <laughs> like Mako even has that card. Like the NPC, right? Oh, probably. He uses that. <laughs> probably. Yeah, when that happened, I was like, ooh, is the card in the game? No. I hope not. No, no, no. It's the worst fucking card. No, I, I think I think we're fine with that. I don't think that's gonna happen. You you don't think? Oh hell no. <laughs> no, like the the NPC already has the card, and it use and it uses it like at level forty he uses it, and uh, and it's been so long that I think it's like no we're we're just gonna have the NPC have it as a challenge, but we're not gonna give it to everybody. I hope so. Yeah, um, I I think we're good on that. Yeah, cause like. You know, setting having Yumi on the field is not hard at all, given his ability. So uh, getting yeah. Tornado Wall would be such a fucking hassle. Like, not everybody has Cosmic Cyclone. You yeah. know, I only have one, and I don't feel like investing to get two more. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I don't want a game in which you have to run Cosmic Cyclone in every deck to have a chance to win. Yeah. You know? But, yeah, that, that kind of card sucks. Until they give us MST, that's really the only healthy alternative. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad if they put that in the game. MST, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. All right, so for number six, do you remember a spell card called Day of Peace? Yes. Yeah, you, each person draws a card and you take no battle, like no damage at all. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking Messenger of Peace. No, Messenger of Peace would never be in Duel Links, I don't think. Uh, it, that's too OP of a card. You only pay 100 life points. Um, but yeah, Day of Peace was one of those annoying spell cards that a lot of burn decks would use where each person would draw a card and neither player took damage. Hmm. So that's like instant instant turn, instant draw. Um, it's just annoying. Like decks that would run three of that in Duel Links where you only have 20 cards, like it would help the Exodia decks, it would help the burn decks. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just one of those cards where if I see it, I'm be like, oh no. Wow. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never heard of this card, so that's cool. Uh, yeah. I don't see that ever happening, because I don't think we'll ever get any draw cards aside from, like, Shard of Greed that we got. I think that's about it. Yeah, and that that's really slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's always a chance for it not to go off. Yeah. It's yeah, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, no, Day Piece. <sighs> Part of me feels like that, that card could end up in Tool Link's one day and they have to limit that shit Oof. instantly uh no no i don't think it ever will. i think you're safe on right. this one all right uh all right so then this one's kind of an easy one uh final countdown some some games do go 20 turns i know <laughs> yeah <laughs> pay 2,000, you win in 20 turns. Yeah, there's enough... You can do enough, like... We have Wing Karibo, run three powerful rebirths, run three limited removal, stuff like that. Yeah, but, like, 
final countdown deck could like <sighs> I don't know if that would really work in dual links but it, it could but you would have to be lucky yeah. So it yeah, that'd be kind of, that'd be pretty annoying. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be first turn bad. final countdown. Be like, oh shit! It wouldn't be too bad just because there's only uh, most people run twenty cards in their deck, so you know they only draw like sixteen cards. So that's at most well, like sixteen turns. But yeah, you can get around that. Well, like you could run thirty cards and run balance and hope that you draw your final countdown so that your opponent either decks out or you win. Yeah, and then you can run like uh, Rainbow Dragon and then shuffle it back into the deck. Uh, and it just keeps stalling out like yeah cards that keep stalling yeah but you might as well just play a stall or mill deck yeah i mean uh, well, that's what yeah they do. yeah they play final countdown and they just sit there while you do Oof. nothing i mean it seems kind of fair like you only have 2000 life and you have to stall for that long so it could end up in dual links because it does sound all right until people start topping with it yeah. Um, but yeah, like a, a final countdown mirror match. Like, that's that's no. Like, Duel Links is designed to have quick duels, so that's no way. If they put that in, they're gonna fire that guy. Yeah. <laughs> if they, as soon as they bring it up, they're gonna throw him out the window. Yeah, like, exactly. that mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> All right. Now I, I like that one, but yeah, it, it, the whole purpose of the game is to have quick duels. Then no. Yeah. No, I hope fire not. that man. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out. What's up, guys? Chris Kane here. I hope you guys enjoyed our top ten list video. We just covered our number ten through six picks. Uh, so the top five of our lists will be uh, revealed on Curly Haired Heroes channel. So be sure to click the link in the description to his channel to check out the remaining uh, top five of our list. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you guys liked the list so far of what we mentioned let us know what your top 10 list of game of cards you don't want in dual links to be uh, and state your reasons if you would like uh, really like to see them so other than that i hope you guys are having a good day and i'll see you in the next video peace out